13 participating colleges and universities across the region. Dozens of sponsors and tremendous community support. Five finalists, but only one team will walk away with the final prize. Welcome to the fourth annual Great Valley Business Plan Competition. The goal of the competition is to retain our region's talent by promoting technology and business. In only four short years, students have submitted 86 plans to the business plan competition. And 13 of those teams have taken their plans and started companies here in northeastern Pennsylvania. This year, the compensation is more generous than ever before. Ever before. Ever before. $100,000 in cash and in-kind services. World Tree Solutions Incorporated is a web-based inventory management company. Uh, we have a target market of small businesses with limited IT departments, uh, which we hope to start off in northeastern and central Pennsylvania and grow in not only in Pennsylvania but up and down the east to the west coast and hopefully someday internationalize. World Tree Solutions is looking to help out their customers um, by saving them money and that's where our product really, uh, really is focused on. Just by knowing where your, your assets are, it gives you the ability to, uh, to manage your surplus, to order parts in a timely manner. Uh, management can be notified when there's critical inventory levels that need to be reordered, things like that. We spoke with uh, professors at King's. Uh, they seemed to think that it was a very good idea. We then uh, sat down, wrote the business plan, went to the business plan help session, got uh, very good feedback from the, all of the um, people that were there to help. We then um, proceeded to write the plan and just go over it time and time again. Huge amount of time and effort that goes into uh, to putting together a business plan and it, it absolutely takes drive and energy and uh, you know an entrepreneurship um, just has to be ingrained. We, we, are, we are already intent on starting a business so um, we decided to enter the competition and uh, hope for the best. CollegeBlast.com is a college community driven free classified website. Basically what we want to do is have a, a chance for students to post whatever they have or whatever they need, be it textbooks, furniture, apartments, anything like that, that they can find, they can post and search for free on, online. It will be a giant bulletin board where basically every flyer you see on campus will now be on one website. So if you need COM 101, instead of uh, buying it from the bookstore for sixty dollars, uh, you can buy it from a friend, uh, a stranger, a complete stranger, for thirty dollars, and you both win because he was going to sell it back for five. One of my favorite teachers in the University of Scranton actually mentioned. I mentioned to her that I was doing this. I was in passing. It was the beginning of this uh, spring semester, and she asked me what I was doing with my life. And since I didn't really know at that point, I mentioned I was starting a website to hopefully get uh, a business off the ground. And she was enthralled with it and said that I should apply to the Great Valley Technology Alliance business competition, uh, business plan competition, and I was I did, and what I contacted uh, Michael P. Hill, who eventually became my partner. We researched how our competitors make money. We researched how Craigslist makes money, how eBay makes money, how Yahoo makes money. We wanted to see. We had to learn all about the ins and outs of online advertising. At the same time, we also had to keep going over our, our business draft plan. We really wanted to nail it, Pat, and um, I believe we did. The business is called Crunch Industry Solutions, and what we are, well, we're a solutions company, and what we designed this time around is what we call the Remind Me Plus, and all that is, it's a software that fuses telecommunications and internet technology into making something very user-friendly for the 18 or 16 to 25-year-old audience. Remind Me Plus basically is a reminder software we, that enforces time management and organization. Basically, you just log on to our website, type in all your daily tasks, whether it be an appointment, a test, the whole nine yards, and then it sends it right to your everyday cell phone. John actually had a decent, he has had a very good business plan put together before. He submitted it last year and uh, he didn't have any luck, so we took that idea and uh, we made a lot of changes to it and we resubmitted it. 
you need to be told that you can do things. There's too much of negative pressure in the world. You have to have a tolerance for frustration. That's going to be the first thing. Uh, a lot of things aren't going to turn out your way. You have to have the drive. You really have to want it. Uh, all five teams here, they're here today for one reason, because they all wanted it a lot more than all the other teams. Regardless if we win or lose, we are going to still pursue this. We'll perfect it in different areas. Each and every step that we took, we learned a little something. Casino Enterprises is going to integrate a number of hardware devices within a classroom so that students will be more organized within that classroom. Education in the last uh, 50 years has obviously changed. In the beginning there was barely any technology, but now there's technology throughout the classroom. In the future, there's obviously going to be more technology within the classroom. So that's where Casino Enterprises is going to come in. Our market is going to be the 28 Jesuit universities because I have ties to those universities and we're going to use those ties to our advantage. Eventually we're going to go to um, other universities, other high schools, other grammar schools, and also we're going to try to go internationally with this product. My junior year of college, I worked for the Small Business and Development Center at the University of Scranton. I had two or three ideas that, of a business that I would like to start, and the um, manager of the Small Business and Development Center told me about this competition through the Great Valley Technology Alliance that allows students in the university to enter into a business plan competition and potentially win a prize to start their business. I had numerous help. Um, I had teachers. I had my parents. I had my sisters and brother-in-laws. Also, I uh, attended um, the help session at the University of Scranton, which gave me a, 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 a number of great ideas um, to help me get this far into this competition. After the competition, I believe that hopefully I will win the competition so that I could start this business, but if not, um, I'm not going to give up on it. I will probably still go ahead and try to open this business. GradTechs LLC is a software development company specializing in academic solutions. We gear our products towards the academic market as well as our student services. The idea for the initial product um, came about actually in our local university. Um, a professor of ours was having problems with students plagiarizing works, written works, and we decided there needs to be an easy solution for professors um, that can upload their documents, scan them for plagiarism, um, but at the same time you know, keep document security and keep a running total of these documents that are being scanned um, in some one you know, altogether package. Our product, uh, Academic Integrity Scanner, we hope to make it a standard in uh, plagiarism detection. Just like we have virus protection out there, we hope to have this as the standard. Anytime a document is written, we hope it to be submitted to our product, scanned, and then verified. Uh, you have to be driven. Really, you have to really look for a solution and to continue on until you reach that point. It's the person who leaves early from their job, um, you know, two days a week, isn't the person that's going to make it. it needs to, you need to be there, you know, open up the place, close it, really put time and hard work into whatever you're doing. The grad techs we see after the business competition, we plan to continue on with our product and to really have the students get more involved in our solution. Um, it has taken us a considerable amount of time working, uh, developing the business plan, fine tuning it and such. Uh, so now we feel like we can really get back on track and put some much needed time into our product, get it out to market and then just go from there.